peeps welcome to another vlog so what i've been showing you just now is that every week i basically have a ritual of getting to the truck and testing out the tires and you got to get yourself a tire gauge there's so much driving and service work that it's something that you just got to get used to because regular maintenance on your vehicle is going to be everything for you to be able to get to your job sites now one thing that i have noticed is this tire that i was pumping today it's actually losing a little bit of air so there might be a nail in it or a screw in it or something like that so we're going to the mechanics right now we're going to get them to check it we also have an oil change that needs to be done anyway so it kind of coincides with one another which is perfect so we're going to get all that done service the truck initially and then head out so let's get to work let's have some fun oh and by the way peeps you know what to do baby let's go do some delicious plumbing <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
Okay, and just like that, we got a toilet repair done. The lady was noticing that water was dripping on the 90 degree elbow, also called the vertical leg of the water closet. Just want to show you what this bad boy is. This is called a repair kit. Now, what I had noticed was when I took the toilet off initially, there was a little bit of water around the top of the gasket. Now, the thing is, is that could have been because of the removal of the toilet. Maybe some water was dripping that way. My suspicion is, is that the gasket wasn't fully sealing, in other words. So when I took the gasket off, I noticed that the flange was a little bit low compared to the tile. Normally, the flange is supposed to be flush with the tile. So you have a couple of options. The first option is, is you get a one inch gasket, which is what the previous plumber did. By the way, the repair took place about a year ago and it's already showing signs of leaking. So what I decided to do was instead of use a large gasket like they already had, I was going to take this repair kit and just stack them on top of each other until they come at least at minimum flush with the floor. You don't want it to be higher than the floor either because you run into other issues as well. Your smallest gasket might be too thick and you might have a wobbly toilet because of that. So I got lucky. I put a couple of these repair kits. I stacked them one on top of the other and then I put in a three quarter inch gasket and it worked like a charm. We tested it. I flushed it about four to five times. It seemed to be doing okay but usually works like this and I set it to this customer right off the bat. I said, listen, there's still a little bit of water around the base right here. So we might be seeing a little bit of old water as well. So what we should do is it seems to be holding, seems to be doing well, but wait for the next 48 hours. Keep an eye on it. And if anything, you give us a shout, we're going to come back in and we're going to see if it's potentially something else. But I think, fingers crossed, I think I got it. I think that was the culprit. It was a little bit of a low flange and the gasket over time lost its seal for whatever reason. So the other thing that I suggest suggested to the customer was it might be time for a new toilet essentially if you notice the toilet had four bolts so two in the back two in the front and that is always an indication of a much older toilet usually toilets now only have two bolts so the toilet is around the same age as me it was uh, the lady had said essentially that she had the renovation take place in the early 90s 1990 I was born three years before that you know what I'm saying so it's an older toilet I suggested it at first I said are you interested at all in getting a new toilet she's like no I, okay, I was like, okay, fine, I'll do a repair. And, and it worked out. But, you know, it's about that time. You don't know how well that porcelain's holding up. Pretty impressive that the fixture lasted 30 years. Sometimes they last 40, 50 years. But, you know, at some point, it's time for an upgrade. So, fingers crossed that I got in that we don't have to go down that road anyway. So, I'm going to grab a quick lunch. Let's get on to the next one.
Oh, 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 oh,